Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VII, the first of the Tudor monarchs. But on this day in Tudor history, the 21st of December, 1495, Jasper Tudor, first Duke of Bedford and first Earl of Pembroke, died at his manor at Thornbury. He was aged around 64. His entrails were buried at the parish church at Thornbury in South Gloucestershire, and the rest of his remains were laid to rest at Kensham Abbey in Somerset, according to instructions that he left in his will, which was dated the 15th of December. His nephew, King Henry VII, and his queen consort, Elizabeth of York, attended the funeral. In the contemporary work, The Mayor of Bristow's Calendar, or Rickart's Calendar, a book compiled by Bristol town clerk Robert Rickart, Rickart gives an account of Jasper's death and the burial arrangements, writing, And this year, the Duke of Bedford, the king's uncle, deceased at Thornbury, on whose soul God have mercy, and was buried at Kensham. And the said mayor and his brethren met with the said duke in Kingswood with 2,000 men on horseback, all in black gowns, and so brought his body to Kensham, for the which the said mayor and his brethren had great thanks of the king. As Jasper's biographer Deborah Bayani notes, only part of the foundations of the 12th century Augustine Abbey now survive. The abbey and Jasper's tomb were not spared by Henry VIII and did not survive the dissolution of the monasteries in 1539. So it, it's impossible for us today to visit Jasper Tudor's tomb. However, it is possible to visit St. Mary the Virgin's church in Thornbury where his entrails were buried. So at least we can pay our respects to him there. Now, let me uh, pay tribute uh, to this Tudor man by sharing a few Jasper Tudor facts. Now, Jasper was born in around 1431, probably at Hatfield. He was the second son of Owen Tudor and Catherine of Valois. Catherine was the widow of King Henry V, and so Jasper was the half-brother of King Henry VI. Jasper's elder brother was Edmund Tudor, father of King Henry VII. Jasper and Edmund Tudor were granted wardship of the young Lady Margaret Beaufort, who of course ended up marrying Edmund and uh, getting um, pregnant at the young age. She gave birth to Henry VII when she was just 13. And Henry VII, Henry Tudor, as he was then, was born in 1457 at Jasper's home, Pembroke Castle, following the death of his father, Edmund. Following the Lancastrian defeat at Mortimer's Cross and his father's execution, Owen Tudor's execution, Jasper fled into exile. In 1470, he returned from exile and was reunited with his nephew, Henry Tudor, but ended up taking Henry with him to Brittany after news of the Lancastrian defeat at Tewkesbury. He acted as a mentor to Henry there. Jasper returned, landing in Pembrokeshire with his nephew in August 1485, although it's not known whether he actually fought alongside Henry's troops at the Battle of Bosworth Field, when, of course, King Richard III and his forces were defeated on the 22nd of August, 1485. Jasper was rewarded for his mentorship and his support of Henry Tudor when King Henry VII made him Duke of Bedford in October 1485, and he was also restored to the earldom of Pembroke. His properties included Thornbury Castle, Sudley Castle, and the manor of Minster Lovell. Jasper married Catherine Woodville, widow of the Duke of Buckingham and sister of Elizabeth Woodville, who of course was the widow of Edward IV, in the autumn of 1485. 
Jasper became one of King Henry VII's closest advisors. Well, he'd acted as a mentor before Henry became king and he carried on in that role after Henry became king. In 1486, he was made Lieutenant of Ireland and he played an active part in putting down the Stafford and Lovell Rebellion of 1486 and he commanded troops at the Battle of Stoke Field in 1487, defeating those who were supporting the claim of Lambert Simnel the Pretender. Jasper was made Lieutenant of Calais in 1488. And Jasper had an illegitimate daughter, Ellen, who married William Gardner of London. In the 19th century, it was rumoured that Ellen was the mother of Stephen Gardner, Bishop of Winchester, but her son was actually the chronicler Thomas Gardner. Stephen Gardner's parents are believed to have been John Gardner of Bury and his wife Agnes. Jasper didn't have any legitimate children. There was only Ellen, an illegitimate daughter. So those are some Jasper Tudor facts just to uh, pay tribute to this rather interesting uh, Tudor man. So there you go. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there uh, for Tudor history and animal cameos. I'm not sure whether we've had any today, but there's usually a cat or a dog in the background. So if you're an animal lover, you might like those too. You can give me a like if you've enjoyed uh, this video. And of course, you can leave a comment as well. And you can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live, which is on a daily basis. And I have been been asked whether I'm going to carry on next year and I am going to try. So we'll carry on for at least another year with lots of Tudor history events. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.